Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. It's not just any Tuesday. It's Super Tuesday. That's right. One of the many uh, American reality TV show holidays where we all get together and we pick our favorite contestant. It's, uh, oh boy, it's going to be quite a crazy night. We've got some polls already closing. Um, it's going to be crazy. I think I have something special for you. Uh, not only am I going to be playing a game that is a simulator of the 2020 political uh, presidential election, but I am also going to be live showing some results. I put some time into this. I, I hope you guys are going to like it. Stream Mom, I know you're going to like it. This is going to be great. Uh, let me just, uh, you know what, let me just, let me just show you what I'm working with over here. Okay, it took me a while to get this going. You wouldn't believe the complications, but there it is, folks. There it is. Would you look at that? Uh, above me, right here, we've got uh, a primary by primary. I believe it's ordered by the time polls close. Results updating live uh, to the left of me, right over here. We have the live delegate account. Um, the far right side, I believe, is 1921, which is the delegate majority. Nobody's going to be hitting that tonight. But we do have a nice delegate count. And on the far right side, all the way over there, um, is the state map. It's kind of crappy, but uh, I needed to fill the space. So <laughs> you can see that uh, Biden, Buttigieg, and Sanders, who are the leading delegate counts, are all this just different shades of blue, which is terrible because it's the Democratic primary map. Use different colors. They don't all have to be blue. Save that for the general election. Um, but anyways, we're also going to be playing Political Machine 2020. I got very lucky on this because I actually had Political Machine 2016. I was ready to play it, make some excuses about how 2020 wasn't out, and I get an email about 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock this afternoon saying Political Machine 2020 is now released. So this game came out today, just in time. We're gonna be playing it. Uh, this is supposed to be a simulator, but it's it's less sim and a bit more board game is how it's been described to me. I've never played it, but uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, I'm gonna turn down the background music just a smidge. Okay, here we go. How to play. Uh, win the states, win the election. Uh, the color of the state indicates how voters are leaning. If you're a Democrat, you'll want to see more blue. If you're a Republican, you want to see states turn red. Got it. Bright blue or red, likely to win. Raise your awareness and issue ratings. Got it. Select your candidate, then right-click on a state to move there. Now take action in that state. Select, left-click, right-click to move. Okay. Give a speech. Talk is cheap, but takes lots of stamina. Build headquarters in states you want to win. Upgrade your headquarters to get extra cash. Bigger enthusiasm bonuses and free operative at level three. So build and upgrade, I guess. Uh, super PAC slush funds and kickbacks. Well known in a wealthy state, fundraised there for big bucks. Mm. Uh, it's expensive, but boost your issue ratings over time. Town halls appeared, visited to turn stamina into ideology points. Spent ideology points for a big national boost. So battleground state, purple states indicate a close race where both candidates have high awareness, fight it out, or ignore the state. Always use resources where most effective. Okay, let's do it. Um, I It's 2020, so I'll, I'll play the Democrat. I'm not going to be the incumbent. Uh, set your difficulty normal, not too hard, not too easy. Perfect. Never played this game before. Oh, this is... Some weird anime. It's like bobbleheads. But like they're, they're bobbleheads, but when you watch them come in, they like, whoop, they compress. Massive comet, stamina, hyper, typical, very dim intelligence. I kind of want to create my own. That's not what Mike Bloomberg looks like. That's pretty good, Pete. Uh, that's close enough for Tulsi. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> Uh, we already saw Bernie. Catherine Cortez. Did she even run? 
Elizabeth Warren. Got it. Okay, time for me to create my own. Um, his name is Wean Cripson, clearly. Uh, he's a Democrat. His home state is uh, Subpixel Midpoint. We gotta choose Maryland here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna choose a home state that typically goes red, but that I could potentially flip. And I'm gonna do Texas. Yeah. Ideology. Um, Biden liberalism? That's, that's some BS right there. I am a... Uh, I'm just gonna, I, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna turn this into a super political. I can't endorse the candidate, I don't want to. This isn't my stream, this is a subpixel stream. So just to be clear, all these choices I'm making, I wanna win the game as a Democrat running against Trump. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna do establishment Democrat. I'm gonna mail my election history senator. I like senator. Born and raised on the Texan Plains, Wien is a hard scrabble, hard scrabble civil servant with the biggest heart this side of the Mississippi. That's good enough. Okay, uh, I'm gonna customize the bobblehead. Oh my goodness, what was that? Spiked armor. What is dress? I need to, here we go, folks. I knew I could do this. The jacket needs to be solid red. I think the tie is going to be green. Pants gotta be blue. Gotta be blue for the pants. Cool. Okay, let's let's check out his heads. Oh my goodness. That guy's terrifying in like a Barbie Ken doll way. I love it. Okay, parted hair. Can I rotate this? Oh no. Oh, that's like Cartesian. All right, we're going back to Cartesian. Hat, none. I gotta zoom out a little bit here. What is this? Oh, I can change that. This is okay. But let me let me check these hats. Crown, halo, halo, boot hat, none. Cap, cowboy. Oh, I forgot. I'm from Texas. I'm a cowboy. Got it. I think it has to be green because it's just pulling from the tie. So maybe I should make the pants green. And the tie needs to be blue, because that makes more sense. Just to make a better looking hat. Uh, but the hat should be enormous. Oh my goodness. I almost think it's too... It's, it's actually a bit too big. No, sorry. I'll just, I'll put it right back there. Oh, there we go. That's what daddy wants. You gotta get that. <laughs> you gotta get that. Oh my goodness, what's the roll on it? A little bit of a sideways hat. Oh, it's clipping into the background of the character creator. You see that back here? That's incredible. All right, quick election check-in. Sanders, ooh, they just called Colorado for Sanders. That's fantastic. You guys give me uh, two seconds, I'm gonna fix that. 
Um, I'll just talk through it real quick. It took me a lot of effort to get this working. And, uh, oh, oh, so close. Basically, I was wandering around trying to find websites that would let me kind of use their stuff as a source. By let, I mean it would work properly, but it also would fit. It had a lot of good information. I could get it to fit properly, that kind of thing. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let me just unlock it. Oh, no. That looks better. There you go. Okay. Um, yeah, just trying to get the different information and get it to display right in the borders and the make sure live updates. And then the problem was a lot of it is it's not, it's in the middle of a web page, so I have to be able to load the web page and interact with the web page to move it down and then crop it and make sure it doesn't mess up if it refreshes, crazy stuff like that. Anyways, let's get back to this facial here. Oh, oh no. I, I think, I think we both know it's this. You can't even, oh, you know what? I forgot, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. That's much better, okay. Wow, they have a lot of changes to all of this. That's pretty good. Nose, pointy. I think it's that. Right? I think it is that, but can I size it up a bit? Oh, too big but I can do this. It's almost too big. That's better. Eyes. There's Sleepy Joe. I need to have intelligent, smiley eyes. That's a bit... Ugh. Maggie, come look at my presidential candidate. He's from Texas. Hi, beam me up, Mr. Scott. That's why he's got a big hat. Oh, uh, Tommy Wiseau from The Room? Yeah. <laughs> we watched uh, Disaster Artist last night. Oh, that's too mean. Oh, you know what? Bushy fits. Spaniard. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was going for. Once I found this, this hair. It's pretty good. Oh, my name is Indigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, no. Put his ears off his head. You know what? I'm going to make him have... Big ears. Honkers. That's pretty good. Okay, let me go back to eyebrows real quick. I just, I think this rotation needs to be... Oh, no. I think, I think they just need to be tilted a little bit. There we go. Okay, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it there. Oh, you know what? I didn't assign any stat points. <laughs> okay, all right. We encrypts it is media bias. Media bias. I only have 10 points. I mean, I think judging by the amount of viewers we have in this stream right now, we are loved. Tingly. I'm gonna go with liked. Okay. Intelligent. I like to so we encrypts and represent subpixel as a whole. I like to think that we are I'm 
sharp. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna, okay, we're gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the average for now, but then I'm gonna, I think our charisma is, is good. Starting money goes up. Stamina, you know, I just, we don't, we now have quite up the stamina. Some of these YouTube channels, man, they're putting out like crazy videos all the time. We don't quite have that stamina. I, mm, that's, mm, okay, so I'm gonna put one in experience. Okay, so I'm gonna back some of these off just because I, I feel like I need more points to. This is more. This is more points, more actions per turn. Oh. Well, then I definitely need. I need all of that. That's how many actions I can take per turn. Okay, let's see. Average intelligence, typical charm. I'm disliked by the media. Okay, let's go. Average, more responses. Charisma, typical. Okay, I, I, I think we gotta go with this. Let's just, fingers crossed, let's see how it goes. God, he's gorgeous. Love you, Wean. He's, he's just incredible. Born and raised on the Texan plains. Wien is a hard scrabble civil servant with the biggest heart this side of the Mississippi. That is just a very Texas Democrat description. Uh, my opponent has to be, it, it's gotta be Donald Trump. Let's do it. Multi-billionaire president turned, businessman turned president. Trump has attracted disaffected voters with his vow to make America great again. His controversial rhetoric and combative tweeting, however, have turned him into a media pariah. Can he overcome the growing threat of impeachment and ride a strong economy to another victory? I mean, he was already impeached. He is not sharp. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get political, folks, but these stats don't look, that seems. Okay. 21 weeks. Okay. Uh, I don't think I, I didn't get to choose this position on gun rights. I think it'll come up. I think as Texan, he, he supports responsible gun ownership. Federal spending, that's a good point. I think he's just gonna ignore the topic completely. Okay, all right. Texas is leaning Republican. What is this? Oh, I've got I've got a campaign headquarters. He's got a campaign headquarters. And this really is like a one oh, of those camera controls wonky. Oh. Okay. Um he's gonna go to I feel like California's pretty wrapped. I I think we gotta get Florida going. Okay. Uh, oh no. What what do any of these buttons do? I can build a headquarters. Uh, four stamina. I think it's I think I've gotta build a headquarters there. Let me create an ad in Florida. I support Funding NASA. That's got to do well in Florida. I support funding NASA. I'm going to place that ad. And then I need to go to California. And I need to fundraise, please. Fundraising ability six. I wish I could bribe the local government. That would be great. Okay, I think that's it for my turn. Town halls to promote your ideology, got it. Where's he going? He went to Vermont? Trump's gonna try and win Vermont. Oh, look folks, we got a bunch of polls that closed. Uh, Minnesota, Maine, Massachusetts, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Massachusetts, 11% reporting is going 33 Sanders. That's still, like, too close to call, but at the same time, 
those are some very worrisome numbers for Sanders. I believe he was up in the last poll in Massachusetts. Tennessee and Arkansas, that's understandable. Actually, I, I think a Bloomberg was polling well in Arkansas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bloomberg. He won America Samoa. American Samoa. Good for him. What's that? What's that? What's that? Half of your stamina. Cool. What is this? <gasps> I got points. Okay. So, uh, so I, I need to endorse some of these. I cannot. I cannot support gun control. Sorry, I can't do it. Education. Universal health care. See, some of these are just like straight Democrats. Better U.S. image internationally social justice. Protecting the environment. Okay, but I, I need to think about what is going to get me, sorry, what is going to get me moderates? And I think it's, I think it's going to be, oof. I think let's go with this right now. That was worth it. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go here. An excited fan of Cripson has approached them and offered their support. A free political operative has appeared in Washington. Full environment or image? Yeah, I was thinking, but I, I, I'm wondering... I'm treating this game like it's super accurate until that's proven wrong. And I just, I don't think environment is a strong play with Republicans, but let's see. Okay, so I've got this. Smear Merchant decreases opponent issue rating by 20% in target state. Cool. Okay. Oh, I can move them. Oh, look, I, I flipped that. Decreases opponent issue rating by 20% in target state. Okay, let's see, where am I going? Um, hmm. I think, I think Nevada's neutral. Where's, no, this is Illinois. That's Michigan. Or is this Michigan? Guys, I don't know which one's Michigan. That's Michigan. I found Michigan. <laughs> and I was in Michigan like just six or seven months ago. Okay, I think I need to do a headquarters. Grind on New York. Ooh, that's a good point. Grind on New York for money. Yeah, I already did California for money. Maybe I'll do New York for money next, but I'm, I'm out of, what is this? Oh, I have four ideology points, cool. Um, what is this? Reduce foreign military presence. Ooh. Or should I go education? I think, I think I'm gonna do the safe issues first and see what they open up. Cause you see these are starting to open stuff up. Oh, but I have zero points. Just let me know I can do that. Okay, all right. Next, please. What was that? I'm down by... I have enthusiasm, but I'm down by 9%. Okay, let's let's go to... Let's go to New York. Let's fundraise. Cool, okay. So I fundraised in New York. Now let's go to uh, Texas and give a speech. Oh no, that's that's an ad. What's this? Oh, hire an operative? Oh, these are so expensive though. What's this? <gasps> William Cripson favors the fossil fuel industry. 
I, f I support border prote oh well border protection mm -hmm. they have coronavirus in here <laughs> I guess that's a benefit of releasing a game today is that you get to say I support stopping the coronavirus I'll do that in a different state I'll do that in a different state uh, I, I do not support a national gun industry. Oh, this is good. This test is down here. So let me just... It lowers my Democrat appeal, but it raises my independent and Republican. Everybody loves NASA. Let's see. Let's see. Building the wall? Everybody loves the wall. Everybody loves it. Okay. I, I think I'm also going to... Maybe I'll hire a... Select the fixer, then right-clicking and opposing... Oh, okay. Increases your issue ratings. Raises your enthusiasm by four per week in the target state. I, I think that's worth the money. Yeah. That's worth the money. That was a lot of money, but I think it's worth it. I'm in Texas. I gotta, I gotta build that wall. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go to Oklahoma. Let's try to raise funds. Uh, I'm just gonna spend my stamina because I've got it. It's not bad. Okay. At least got some money. Town hall has appeared. Oh, he's going to the town hall. Wanted that town hall. This is another town hall, right? I think I think I've got to grind these town halls in a way. They give me like upgrade points. What did I get there? Three. Oh, that's what that means. So if I endorse this, this will give my opponent a national. Oh, you know what? Environment plays big in Hawaii. But it's a four. Okay, all right. I just got to sit on these points then. So I flew here. I don't know that I can take Arizona. I keep remembering this point down here in the top is the electoral. So you see, California's got a lot. I'm feeling pretty good in California. Who has a lot that I need? Let's go to... I don't have a lot of enthusiasm there. I'm trying to remember the battleground states from the previous election. Let me go here. Build that. Oh, those operatives are too much, though. Okay. Protecting our borders. And building a wall. I already built the wall. Oh, no. That just turned real red. Oh, no. I gotta save my home state, boys. I think I gotta, what are these speeches? Five stamina, one, two, three, four, five. I already, I already said. I support stopping the coronavirus. Sorry, folks, give me a second. I, uh, I lost chat. Let me just verify some things here. I have to pull up some stuff, if you'll pardon me a second. One second. 
a chat logged itself out, so now I gotta come over here and just like log in on my chat. Oh my goodness. There's some cats in the way. Maggie's uh, rolling out some batting for a quilt, and both the cats came and immediately laid on it. Okay, fingers crossed. I'm back in chat. Hi. Uh, this is probably a good good time to take a quick um, quick check. Biden's leading in Minnesota. Oh my goodness! I bet Klobuchar supporters are thrown in. Still 11 percent, 50 percent in Tennessee. That's that's a strong Biden, as expected. Ooh, a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to... My opponent supports... My opponent supports abortion rights. That's pretty funny. My opponent supports a national gun registry. I was a hundred percent worth it. I need to, oh, there's the town hall up here. Cool. Trump takes an early lead. I don't appreciate that. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. So we got a town hall in this here state. So let me fly out there. I've got seven ideology points. Okay, let's see. I can't give him anything right now. So you see this opponent effects? I don't want him getting any. See, this, this is a lot better. I think I want abortion rights. Cool. Okay. Um, now I want to go to New York and build a... are expensive. Maybe I'll give a talk here. I support Israel. Ooh! Turned it into a battleground state, boys. He's full support of deporting illegal aliens. You're not going to do much in California there, buddy. Florida's a battleground. I think that's my stuff going to work because of the TV ads. While I am here, I feel like I should... Fundraising ability, fundraisers held, state enthusiasm, state wealth. I, I don't think that's... Well, let me just grab some money. Okay. So here, I've got that. How much is the TV? How much is a TV ad? Four hundred and fifty thousand doll hairs. I support good jobs. Let's go take Florida. And do the same thing down here. I'm gonna give a speech. Everybody loves funding NASA, protecting Social Security. That was a good turn. I feel like that was a good turn. Oh, Maine's going for Sanders now. Still too early to call. <gasps> You've been invited to appear on the Ben Sharp show. 
aka Ben Shapiro. This is a podcast run by conservative political commentator Ben Sharp. Sharp is widely known for his love of debate and his combative style. Make sure to come prepared or you'll be seeing Ben Sharp destroy his political candidate all over. Let's go. A duck declared governor of California. Flurry of town hall construction boost economic growth and Democrats get lost in a corn maze today on the Ben Sharp show. Healthcare is a scarce resource. People like Jimmy Kimball seem to believe that having a sick child makes them an authority on health insurance. The free market is the best way to ration a resource like healthcare. Otherwise, it'll be government bureaucrats who decide how, when, and if you should get healthcare. What is your position on single payer health insurance? Uh, we need to get rid of private health insurance. It's a terrible idea. There are millions of Americans without health insurance. I think this is the solid middle ground response. Biology doesn't care about your feelings. What do you say to those who choose to identify as a gender that doesn't match with their biological sex? Again, I'm not answering these questions in my personal opinion. I'm just trying to win the game. Those who choose to identify as a gender. They're brave. How we identify ourselves is what makes us human. I would say stop being crazy. No such thing as violence. As long as they don't demand others play along. Ah, oh, come on. I... I, I got to do a middle of the road here. But then, should they expect others to defer to their self-identification? It's basic consideration. Hey! That's pretty good. Thanks to the candidate for coming in and listening quietly while I talked. This is Ben Sharp with The Ben Sharp Show. Whew, that was threading the needle there. Yabba bubba. Cripson makes case to voters. Brave answers on Cripson impresses. What are you doing in California, Donald Trump? I think I need to give a speech here. Hello. Hello. Uh, I support the environment. Love it. And I also, I think I should support stopping the coronavirus. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and fundraise. Love it. Oh, Texas turned more red. Oh, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, maybe I should go to Virginia. Virginia is another battleground state. While I'm here, should I fundraise? Yeah, I'm already here. We get some money. Let's go to Virginia. Oh, I've got like no enthusiasm. I gotta build up enthusiasm. support abortion rights. This seemed to help a little bit. <sighs> this is spicy, folks. Okay, I've got money. So, how much? How many? 13? Raises your enthusiasm by four per week in target state. Oh, so I've got a lot of enthusiasm there, so I just need to go there and do something, I think. But while I'm here, let me go ahead and build the headquarters. Okay, I think that's my turn. Selective immigration? Michigan's a battleground. Okay, I think I have to go here. And I need to... Oh, okay, here we go. He's up on border protection and building the wall. Maybe I'll give a speech on border protection. I'll give a speech on building the wall. That boosted me a little bit. 
but now I need to run an attack ad here. My opponent supports My opponent opposes building the wall. Wait, how does that... How does that help them? Oh, there we go. I just didn't select it. My opponent opposes... Building the wall. I'm just trying to see if there's one that he has not. My opponent... My opponent opposes the environment. My opponent opposes. Actually, you know what? This is. It's, let's do build the wall. That's important down here. Okay, and then I'm going to. Got a lot of money. That's good. That's good. I'll have to pick my running mate now? Yeah, stream on this game's kind of weird. It's I I read reviews of it or of the previous iterations that people said it's more of a board game, and I definitely see that now. Okay, all right, let's 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 think about this a second. I I'm kind of wishy washy all over the place, but I I feel like I can play the Republican in a way in Texas, etc. But I think I need somebody to win me more of the moderate to left support, which I, I think, I, I think, I think, I think I need it. I need to be bankrolled. Who's got the most money here? Massive Comet. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay, so now I've got Massive Comet. We'll move from state to state making speeches. Oh, you know what? I need to go get that Town Hall points. Boom. Got four points. Oh, this stuff's so expensive now. You need to go to Michigan. Actually, you know what? You're already in that support. How about you... I mean, do I not get to? I guess I don't get to control. Yeah, I guess I don't get to control. Okay, let's see. Blue, blue. Let's go to Pennsylvania. Let's give a speech here. I definitely support blue collar tops. Battleground state, got it. Going to California again. Was that free operative up there? Oh no. Guess those are gambles. Um, okay, let's see. Just taking a look at the results. Uh, currently, delegate count, Biden 191, Sanders 135. I don't think that includes the projected. Let me see if I can refresh that real quick. Ugh. 94 to 136. So these are different sources, so they're probably calling states differently at different times, but uh, there we go. Okay, let's see. Where, where's, where's a lot of... You know what? I'm a strong candidate down here. Let's go down here. Let's give a speech. Hmm, 
This is a toughie. I, I, I think I should stick with border protection. Okay. I think that's it for this turn. Flying all over the place doing stuff. Okay, my turn. Let's go up to Washington. Actually, while I'm here, let's put on an, an ad. Oh, so, such a sticky situation down there. Let's. Hmm. Let's do a campaign headquarters. Let's go up to Washington. I... Man, I really need Texas, though. Uh-oh. One second, folks. That updated. See if I can change this real quick. Basically, these are uh, browsers. It's, it's called a browser source. It's just loading a web page. The problem is you gotta like, if the web page moves slightly or does anything weird, then. This, this game is actually, uh, I, I can't tell if it's possible or difficult. What does that mean? Oh, it's state enthusiasm. State polling, electoral college votes. I don't think I've been to Illinois yet. Let's go to Illinois and let's give a speech on state unions. Oh no, things are getting very tenuous around here. Hmm. Uh, I wanna run. Let's give a speech, let's give a speech. I support abortion. State wealth. Oh no, wow. 269 to 269, that's very close. I wanna hear some strategies from the chat, if you guys got any. This is tough out here. Oh, look at Maine right now. 33% of the vote in, and it's 34.4 to 34.3%. Very close. I need money. So... Go back here. Build some enthusiasm. Give me some money, please. Money, please. And then I'm going to run an ad in here that says, my opponent opposes good jobs. Worth it.
We've got seven ideology points. Can't afford... It's going to give him too much enthusiasm. Snag up New Mexico. I like that. Let me, um... Marty in Vermont. It's a battleground state. So, let me do Vermont, and then I'll snag up uh, New Mexico. Snug it up a little bit. Um, what am I doing here? What's the problem with Vermont? Very low enthusiasm. Got to give a speech. I support the Green New Deal. A little bit of enthusiasm. Let me go ahead and move to New Mexico. America first. The Later Show with Stefan Coltcut. Generally skews liberal. Let's get right to it. The big story we are talking about tonight. A feral pig escaped from a Chicago zoo and is currently polling higher than our first guest. Oh, they called more states for, uh... They called Minnesota for Biden? Minnesota would have been... Klobuchar. But she dropped. Uh, three-part question related to healthcare. What went right and what went wrong with Obamacare? Is that a mole in my leg or cancer? And what would you do? I would, um... I would say, oh boy, I'm going to die. Audience is liberal, so I would say Obamacare was sabotaged. And how did they sabotage Obamacare? They opposed it every step of the way. Right in the center. How competent, how incompetent of a staff would you hire for you? Competent, grossly incompetent, or just comically inept? I would hire only the best. Okay, got it. I said the same thing when I started here, but then, well, you've heard the jokes. I have qualified candidates. Kind of a weird interview. Massachusetts. Look at all those Warren votes. All those Warren votes would be going to uh, Bernie. It's basically a two-man race right now between Bernie and Biden. But, uh... The Biden camp did a good job of consolidating their uh, candidate support, Beto, Amy, Pete, and Sanders has not been as successful. Gripson rallies the base. Domestic oil spill. Importance of alternative energy and Kiso Mexico raised in all states. Okay, so let me go to Electoral College votes. I need to head here. You need to go here. And you're gonna go here. You're gonna give a speech on renewable energy very important right now. And then you're going to go to go to Michigan and give a speech on the auto industry. I think that was worth it. A lot of battleground states going on. Oh, I should have taken that town hall. I didn't even see it. Okay, let's go here. 
Thank you. Got 10 points. Protecting the environment. I think that's huge, given the oil spill. Oh, I need that one. While I'm in Idaho, I might as well give a nice speech on... Actually, you know what? I don't think I should. I need money. Where's my money states? How much does a fundraiser cost? Three? How much does a speech cost? Five? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think, I, I think I've got to go to here. And I have to fundraise. I think I got to fundraise again. Oh yeah, I saw that darkness. American Samoa, it's the biggest prize of the day. I love this role play as a Bloomberg supporter. But not like a Bloomberg supporter, like a paid Bloomberg supporter. Love it. I like how they don't even have American Samoa on the, on the charts that I pulled. So things are, uh, it, it looks like Biden's having a very good night, but at the same time, we're still waiting on Texas. Texas was was tied last poll I saw, and California, Sanders was ahead by 10 points last time I saw it. So, whew. Okay, all right, let's see. I need to, before I do anything, let's raise some more money. Thank you. Let's go to any town hall. Why, why is he just sitting here? I can't move him. Um, I need to go to, oh God, this, this is just real bad. Holding down the middle mouse button and moving it left to right does that. It's just bad. I need to go to, Yeah, I, I, I think that's what's going to happen, too. Seeing that the amount of Biden support that's that's performed above the polls, especially in a lot of these southern states, I think Texas is going to be Biden. But that's only 228. But the other thing is that these, these states, I believe they're... I think it's... I may be wrong about this, but I believe you have to get 15% of the popular vote, and that makes you eligible for delegates. So they basically take any candidate who got at least 15% of the popular vote, and then they split up the delegates between those eligible candidates based on how much of the vote they got. So it's it's not like Bernie can win California and pick up 415 delegates right off the bat. Man, I got a lot of battleground states going on. Let's go down to... Do I still have a... Ooh, I can upgrade that. I upgraded that. I'm just going to upgrade a bunch of HQs real quick. And I'm going to give a... I'm just going to keep draining these people with money. Cool. I think the surprises of the night so far are Minnesota going for Biden in a way because the Amy vote was a little bit up in the air. Um, Virginia, strong Biden support, 53%. I don't, I don't think the polls showed it that strong. Um, the other one being Massachusetts going for Biden so far. That could pull around depending on which counties are reporting, but that's pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, let me go down here. Two hundred and fifty thousand doll hairs. Guys, I need money badly. Okay, let's go here. Raise some money. Thank you. Let's go here. Raise some money. Thank you. Let's go to California, raise some money. Thank you. 
but I, I do want to... Yeah, I could see that. I could see Obama being a strong challenger to Trump. I just, uh, I think it's tough for either Biden or Bernie to run against Trump, but I just, I don't see Biden doing good against Trump. Just don't see it. Do I have a headquarters around here? I don't. I have a headquarters there. Oh, I've already upgraded that. Oh, I can't upgrade. Take stamina. Oh, ooh, Texas. First 9.3% in. 28% Sanders. It's way too early to call. Oh my goodness. If Sanders takes Texas and California... I don't know if you guys have been following this election cycle, but uh, this is probably the closest I have fallen a primary ever, and it's it's pretty interesting. Biden's had a crazy comeback the last couple days because of South Carolina, and because it's kind of feels like the Democratic establishment has rallied around him, getting people to drop out and endorse, etc. Okay. I think I need to, while I'm here, I'm going to raise funds. Thank you. And then I'm going to come to... I, th I think I gotta go back here. And I think I have to... Illinois, enthusiasm. Lower enthusiasm. Okay, so I'll give a speech then. Support renewable energy. I also say I just gave two speeches in a row on the same topic. Oh no. It's week twenty one out of twenty one. So Town Hall has appeared here. Why did I go there? I don't have enough ideology points to do anything. But while I'm here, I might as well... I support farm subsidies. My opponent opposes farm subsidies. Go here, see what happens. Oh my goodness, I just got robbed again. I should buy somebody. I'm gonna buy a. Uh, um, I think I want that guy. That's good. I think I'm, yeah, and he's gonna go. He's gonna stay there. Oh no, folks, this is, this is not gonna end well. Blue, oh no, that was a battleground state. That was bad. Ah, oh, I lost Florida. I lost Florida. I got Michigan. I, I think uh, Bloomberg did a big mail in, a big mailer campaign in Colorado. They were saying a lot of people, oh, Trump won. Trump, Trump won. Oh no. I, oh no. Oh no, that's kind of a, that's kind of a blowout folks. That's not good. <laughs> I lost. 
Yeah, I saw that. Texas at 29%. It's only 10% in so far, but... Whew. Let's look at this map. Oh. I spent money in Florida and Texas, but I lost all these states in here. Okay, let's do a... Uh, I guess I'm doing AI versus AI match. Let's see what happens when we've got Joe Biden v. Trump. And then we'll do Bernie next. Okay. All right. So Trump going for Florida and Texas. Showing up support in the South. Biden. California raising money. America first. Got it. Okay. Hi, Sleepy Joe. Oh, Florida's quickly becoming a battleground state here. North Carolina, but North Carolina, South Carolina should be very competitive between the two, considering the uh, massive amount of support. What are they doing? They're doing a lot of headquarters in key states. That's good. Wow. Getting things done in Washington. <laughs> How is that an ideology? Battleground State. Ooh. Hmm. So we're a third of the way through the game. Wow, look at this. Texas, Sanders is still up with 11.2% reporting. Oh, out of NATO? That's crazy. Wow, it's, you know, Joe Biden's creeping ahead a little bit here. Battleground states. Looks like Biden's doing a good job of controlling some of these uh, medium weight delegate states like Illinois, Michigan, etc. Wait, who picked giant? <laughs> Trump picked giant meteor as his running mate. I think my running mate glitched out because he went to one state and stayed there the entire time. Who did he pick? Pete? That, I, I think that's what's going to happen. If Biden gets the nomination, he will probably pick Pete. As his nominee. Okay, two-thirds of the way done. Oh, boy. Things are getting very intense. Right, you can get in really close here. Biden did a mandatory gun buyback? Man, that would fail miserably. Personal visit from Buttigieg and his speech warning voters against Medicare for all. Oh, oh look at that. Pennsylvania's hard red. So is Florida. <gasps> Trump's making a comeback. Sleepy Joe fell asleep. A lot of headquarters out here. Sanders took the lead in Maine by 
Still only 42% in. Donald Trump supports fracking, clearly. Ooh, this is, this is getting close, but it looks like Biden pulled away a little bit. Let's see what it comes up. It's election week. What's gonna happen? Oh, so many operatives down here in Florida. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Oh, wow. That's a lot of blue. took Michigan too and Florida Biden may get it done oh no he's losing a lot of those Midwest states oh but he could get it done oh I think I think yeah he just got it there it is that's close, though. So there you have it. That's the official prediction. Biden v. Trump. Biden wins. With Buttigieg as his uh, running mate. Let's do that again. Let's do... Uh, let's kiss next. Let's do Bernie Sanders v. Trump. This is kind of interesting. Part of it is like, what's their prediction? The other part of it is seeing how the AI plays the game on the hardest difficulty. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Oh, there you go. That's a good kitty. I'm trying to pick my nose. <laughs> That's a good kitty. Okay, sorry, I got distracted there. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Like it like they've they've changed the mechanics in a way of an election just to make it into like game mechanics with the headquarters and the influence votes, but it it does feel like it has fairly accurate mechanics behind it in terms of you know the state is going to lean towards these issues but it's going to kind of pull and sway over the course of the election wow i'll tell you what though bernie sanders is This is, this is a little bit different from the Biden one. If you see the Northeast, it's turning blue early. But he's losing a lot of the, the Rust Belt. Well, I guess not really the Rust Belt. What is this? Southern Belt? Bible Belt? Sanders still in the lead in Texas. Wow. Looks like Sanders is, is maintaining a narrow lead. Of course, as I say that, Trump starts to pull, pull back, pull up again. Let's see. Okay, a little bit more than two thirds through.
Getting a lot of ideology points. Florida. Yeah, I can see it. Coming down to Florida. This is the fixer. He's like an operative you deploy to destroy somebody else's operative. Getting down to election. Election night here. It's kind of interesting. I like I like this mechanic of um, there's a limited number of turns. And you gotta get things going in time. those turn in blue. They were battlegrounds before. Bernie's up 3% leading into the polls. Ooh, D takes Michigan. Loses Florida. But he takes Illinois. This is very close. I don't know if it's closer than Biden? I think the states are just breaking down differently. Oh no, Trump's very close. <gasps> it's so close. <gasps> That's Trump. That's the official prediction. Trump beats Bernie. Wait a minute. Oh, that's Sanders. I thought that was Trump and his running mate, Joe. So let's see what happened. Lost Florida, lost Texas. Yeah, a lot of this belt, but he also lost Washington. That's that that'll hurt you, because that's 12 right there. And what was the total? Okay, I guess I can't view the total. I think it was 278. So close. Yeah, 278. So if he'd taken um, Washington, he would have taken it. I don't know that he had much chance in any of these other states. Yeah, I think Washington was kind of his linchpin. After the fact, linchpin. Let's see if there's anybody playing online. Multiplayer. Nope. <gasps> oh, it's private. Let's check in with the results real quick. Uh, Massachusetts back to Biden. See, that's that's kind of surprising. Massachusetts early in the primary was considered a Warren state. Warren's lost momentum. But, yeah, I mean, if you look at it, Biden is 34%. Sanders is 27. Warren is 20. But... If you think about it, that progressive wing, that progressive vote, is 47%. But it's split between Bernie and Warren. And now Biden has, has a lead because of it in Massachusetts. Texas, 15% and Sanders still up. Utah, I believe that's an expected Sanders win. I think for right now, it's looking like it's a tough night for Sanders. He's still going to stay in it, but right now it looks like it's either going to be Bernie for majority of delegates or contested convention, broker convention. Probably half and half. All right, let's do a goofy campaign. I'm going to turn it on low so I can actually win. I'm going to run as a Democrat. I'm going to run as... I want a lot of money. Yeah, I'm gonna run as Bloomberg. 
And I'm gonna run against... I'm gonna run against Giant Meteor. Let's do it. Okay, so what I saw was... I'm in New York. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. Let's get some points, please. Actually, let me... How much does the speech cost? Five? One, two, three, four, five. Let's give... Let's do some fundraising first. Thank you. And then let's fly to California. And do... Well, no. What do I want? Let's fly to... How much is headquarters? Stamina, four. Can I double headquarters here? Let's run some ads. I support. Good jobs. Place ad. I gotta get to that town hall. I gotta get to both of those town halls. Oh, I went to the wrong state. You have to go to your... I thought you could steal one from each other, but I guess not. Okay, while I'm in South Dakota, let's go ahead and... Speeches cost five. I can't travel. I want to travel there. Let's run a TV ad. I support stopping the coronavirus. Oh, I got blackmailed. I want to go to... Flow Rida. Build a campaign headquarters. I'm also going to give a speech. I support protecting Social Security. Got it. Where am I going to move to next? I need to head to uh, Battleground State. That's a thing. Town Hall has appeared. Got it. So while I'm here, I should build... Headquarters. I should also. I, I gotta do this. Yeah, debate mini game would be good. I, I think it's actually in some of the screenshots, but I guess it's static or something. It's kind of weird. Okay, let me go here. While I'm in Montana, ooh, don't I have? Got five ideology points. One Democrat importance, one issue, two independent importance. I support social justice. Um, I'm doing good stream, Mom. I don't know if you caught it. I lost to Trump as we in Cripson. Um, and then we simulated uh, Biden v. Trump, which Biden won. And then we simulated Bernie v. Trump and Bernie lost. Both close elections. But those were AI versus AI. So now I just dropped it low. I'm running as Bloomberg against a giant meteor. Um, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? I mean, this, this is going to have no money, right? State wealth. <laughs> Nothing. Like, hire an operative. I think I want... Opponents' ratings by 25%. Yeah, I think I want this guy. And I'm just gonna like park him in Florida. I need to win Florida. Um, and I think, might as well raise some money. 10K. Okay, let's go. Oh, he probably, I think he got a free operative for that. Okay, I'm here. Let's go to Texas. 
and let's let's build a headquarters here. Let's give a quick speech. Say, I support funding NASA. Let's move me towards a battleground. I think I want Ohio. Took the lead. I'm doing good. Oh, you just turned that into a battleground state? How dare you. Okay, let's go here. I shouldn't have moved. I should have stayed there. Got four ideology points. Higher minimum wage. Endorse it. Cool. Feeling good. So this is Connecticut. While I'm here, I might as well give a speech. Higher minimum wage. Is this is Connecticut. Okay. Feeling good. Oh no! took my question mark I'm here let's do a add here and say that my opponent my opponent opposes stopping the coronavirus just drop an ad there let's go to one two three four five let's go to California Let's fundraise. Um, let's hire. Let's hire a spin doctor. Spin doctor is gonna go park himself in. Ooh, Texas looks a little open, doesn't it? I should have moved myself before. I'll upgrade that HQ. Now I'll go to, um, let's go to Virginia. I think I could do well in Virginia. Actually, I need money, don't I? Let's raise funds again. While I'm in Virginia, giving a speech. Give that speech. What are the wealthy states? New York. Strong, strong. Money, please. Thank you. And let's go to Texas and raise some money. Tucker Carlson, or I'm sorry, Tucker Carson tonight. Tucker will ask questions that working class voters are interested in learning more about. Welcome to Tucker Carson tonight, where I've agreed not to shoot my guests to look a confused disgust, provided they agree not to say anything disgusting and confused. This is pretty good parody. There are a lot of liberals out there who see these tragedies, these shootings where some sicko has gone crazy and shot a bunch of people, and these liberals are trying to use these tragedies to push their own agenda. Gun control. They want to tear up the Second Amendment. How do you respond to these pinheads? Capital punishment for all who want gun control. No deal. It's in the Constitution. Boo. A lot of Hollywood celebrities are just morons, and then what really gets me is how they try to shove their elitist agenda down the throats of regular folks. What do you think about this? I like some of them. Others will be put to death. They annoy me. Such a Bloomberg <laughs> response. We could sell tickets to it. Descent. Wait, why does it act like... I said something wrong. Oh, uh, this is part of your like charisma or charm is that it, it means you have bad answers. We could sell tickets to it. Somehow I turned that around. Ugh, I'm missing some independent support. Okay, where am I? I'm here. I think I need to make a speech here.
I support building the wall. And then I'm going to raise some money as well, please. Money, please. Oh, no, wait. I need to go to this town hall. Three ideology points. It's a little controversial, but it had to happen. I'm also going to raise some money. Good enough. Oh, no, I got to pick my running mate. I need somebody who is... Their charisma is fantastic. What if I pick Massive Comet? I think I need Pete. I need Pete. I'm up by nine points. Okay, so here I am. I'm in Kansas. I'm in Texas. Let's upgrade my HQ. Let's get some money, please. Oh, that was not a lot of money. I, I need to get more money. I have, like, barely any money. Wait, that's George W. Bush? Oh, that's his. Oh, I'm in the wrong state. I'm an idiot. I need big George W. Bush as his running mate. Dear Lord, what a terrible decision. I need money. Let's go to Texas. Let's give speech. Hello. I support. What's my, what's my support in this state? I support fracking. I support the environment. I also would like some of your money. That felt good. That felt really good. That was a lot of money. Or else we got money states. I'm gonna come up here to Washington. Some battleground states now? Okay, let's see. First, Daddy needs to make a speech here. I support social justice. Daddy also needs money. Daddy got money. Daddy would also like more money. Daddy got more money. Oh, uh, sorry folks, quick pause here. Um, I got to adjust this. Okay, let's, let's check some results real quick. Colorado and Utah got called for Sanders. Massachusetts, 50% of the vote in, 7% lead for uh, Biden. Maine, still very close. 50% in, it's 34 to 33.6. Man, that is close. Very close. Texas, 25% of the vote in, 4% lead for Sanders. That's pretty good for Texas. If Sanders takes Texas and California tonight, that's big. It's not huge, but it's it's big. Okay, let's see. Hi, huh. my name is Michael Bloomberg, and I'm running for our money for president. Uh, ben Sharp, he's conservative. I put a candidate to the test. The media loses its mind, and we wonder about that strange smell today. 
on the Ben Sharp Show. Biology doesn't care about your feelings. What do you say to those who choose to identify as a gender that doesn't match with their biological sex? Um, oh. But then, should we expect its basic consideration? I'm just answering the same way I did last time. Yeah, I, I, it's only 25% in, and it's getting closer. The problem with green energy is that none of the existing technologies is mature yet. For is serious about lowering a cover that they must support. Nuclear energy position. Uh, create a team. Convert all our bombs to personal. I support building more nuclear reactors. Uh, that's the right position there. Ooh, I got a town hall here, but first I'm going to raise some cash real quick. Thank you. And then I'm going to come over here. That's good. Got four ideology points, but I need to get more. Two thirds of the way through the campaign. While I'm here, I should probably. Oh, I can't give a speech, but. I don't know if it's worth how much six I'm sorry Mississippi I love y'all but I ain't gonna be spending that money celebrity endorsement it turns out a popular local celebrity is a big fan of Bloomberg Bloomberg receives a 10% plus 10% enthusiasm in Jersey while I'm here let's raise some money cool feeling good got a lot of battleground states though but Okay, so I'm in Jersey. How's my Jersey rating? Jersey rating, very high. Let's go ahead and raise funds while I'm here. MJ legalization, Mary Jane. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 it's weird. I think Texas, I think if you're a Democrat in Texas, I could see you definitely being progressive. Um, but I don't think that translates to a national election in Texas. Okay, what do I need to do? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to give a speech while I'm down in Florida. I support funding for NASA. And then I'm going to come here. <gasps> Free political operative. What are you? Your enthusiasm by four per week in target state. Okay, let's see. What's my enthusiasm here? Increases enthusiasm and travel to a state. I want to move this cheerleader somebody, somewhere. And I, I think it may be... Where am I? I don't really care about those. Oh no, that's not who I wanted to. Cheerleader most, I'm sorry. Okay, let's see what can happen here. I think you need to give a speech here. But I need Republican. That was good. And then I think I need to go one, two, three, five. Might as well come here. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Free political allowance. Opponent issue rating by 20% in state. Let's move you here. And let's go ahead and boost your enthusiasm here. I support stopping the coronavirus. Okay. Homeland terrorist attack thwarted. The Department of Homeland Security has just thwarted an elaborate terror plot on American soil. If the plot had succeeded, hundreds, possibly thousands of civilians would have perished. This shocking development has reminded Americans of the threat they still face from terrorists and to demand answers from candidates what they will do to protect the country from this threat. This incident has also reignited the debate. Okay, all right, cool. Got it. Um, where's my ideology points? Oh, man. I don't have any town hall to increase my points, though. Blue Texas. Blue Florida. Let's go over here. Let's build a headquarters. And let's, one, two, three, four, five. Let's give a speech on the environment. And I'll raise money before I move next turn. Nice. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good right now. So let's go up to three, three, three. Those aren't worth fighting in. We got a town hall over here. Virginia. Nice. Seven points. Better U.S. image internationally. I, I know this leads me to... Some foreign policy points. So, I think that's good. That puts me there. I think this is worth building... Four to build it. What's this? Four stamina. West Virginia ain't got no money. Eight, five. Okay, well, let me go ahead and travel here. Oh, that's okay. My turn was almost done then, anyways. But let me. Um, let's see. Feeling pretty good, but I need stamina to upgrade. I think I need to. Then I'm going to head to Washington. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to give a speech. Well, let me see. What's going on up here? Enthusiasm is high. If I run an attack at. My opponent supports. My opponent opposes the war on terror. And then I'll head to... See, those battleground states don't matter. Michigan. I don't want, I don't want to lose Michigan. I'm going to... How has fixing the Flint water crisis lowered my Republican appeal? I support the auto industry. Two, three, four, five, six. So let me go somewhere and make a speech. And I think it may be. I think it's Arizona. I support the war on terror. 
Arizonans love that. Okay, I've got to go here. To Kansas. Which states can I win? Maybe I'll give speech here. Enthusiasm is very close. I support NSA surveillance. Things you gotta do, man. I shouldn't have done that. I wasn't thinking straight. So let me at least buy a smear merchant. Hire the operative. And the smear merchant is going to go to Big Brother gets bigger. Oh no, no, wait. I don't want to go there. You need to go to Wisconsin. It's election night, folks. I'm feeling confident. I'm up by 9% in the polls. Okay, no big surprises so far. Wow, I took Florida. I took Florida. Whew. Took Michigan. Oh, it looks real good. It looks so good. Battleground states. Ooh, I took one. Oh, I took Texas. I took Texas. Here we go. Oh, I didn't take Arizona. I thought I thought I might. That's it, folks. There it is. My name is Mike Bloomberg, and I'm going to be the next president of the United States of America. It's more nasally than that. It's like, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Mike Bloomberg, and I'm going to be the next president of the United States of America. And it's also slower. It's like, uh... When I was mayor of New York following 9-11, we put the pieces of that city back together. And I'll do the same thing with America. You know what? I'm getting a little bored, so let's just do that with all the candidates. Amy Klobuchar. Okay, here's my Amy Klobuchar impression. Okay, here we go. I'm thinking, Amy Klobuchar. First of all, you gotta be shaking, because she shakes during all of the debates. So it's, uh, it's uh, Amy Klobuchar. Okay, let me think. It's like, uh, what is she gonna say? When I was in Minnesota, no, that's not, it's, it's, uh, when I was in Minnesota and I forgot the president of Mexico's name, it didn't mean that I didn't succeed as a senator. It's just a test. Are you calling me stupid? That's not bad. Andrew Yang. Andrew Yang is, it's kind of weird. This is just like a, well, I think we need to talk about automation. It's, it's a serious concern and the only fight against it is uh, math. That's a bad one. Oh, Bernie. I don't know that I've ever done a Bernie impression. Look. That reminds me of, of, uh, my, my friend had a, had an Obama impression and it was just one word. It was, it was, no, 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 no. Uh, my Bernie Sanders. Look, 50% of America is in debt to health insurance. We have to support Medicare for all. That's for the common good. It's not bad. I don't know who Catherine Cortez is. I'm going to look her up real quick. If I can find a... a, a yep, there we go. Okay. Why, why does this like feel like... Catherine Cortez... Masto is an American attorney and politician serving as the senior United States Senator from Nevada since 2017. Um, okay, wait. 
Let me just... Did she, did she even run for president? I don't think she ran for president. This is weird. It's like the developers of the game picked a very weird, like, favorite to put in this. Oh, you've never heard somebody do a Bernie Sanders? Uh, James uh, Adomian, who's a comedian, does a fantastic Bernie Sanders. They actually did a little campaign video where it was Bernie Sanders meeting James Adomian as Bernie Sanders. <laughs> they were just, like, riffing off each other. It's really weird. And then there's uh, Michael Moynihan, who does a Bernie Sanders impression. He's a, a political journalist. Well, I don't want to call him political journalist. He's just a, a journalist from uh, Vice, Vice News. Elizabeth Warren. Oh, no, this is going to come off bad, but this is this is an impression. Oh, boy. They're projecting a Biden win in Massachusetts. I cannot believe that Warren and Sanders could not get get it together. Wow. Uh, Elizabeth Warren. When I was a senator, I campaigned against bankruptcy law again and again. And you're telling me that's not good enough? That's not bad. Maine is super close, 0.1%. I think, I, see, this is the kind of stuff that if I knew more, I could dive into. I'm wondering if it could very easily be the type of thing where the counties that are reporting early are more Biden swinging. So it could end up being Sanders wins by like 10 points, but it's just because the counties that favor Sanders haven't reported yet. It could just be weird things like that. Joe Biden. Here's my Joe Biden impression. I'm just kidding. I just love the Sleepy Joe as a nickname. It's so funny. It's like uh, Fred Thompson or Ben Carson. Everybody was so excited for them to get in the race. And then they were just like dead. Dead as a door now on the debate stage. Uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. I told my friend Barry that I knew somebody back in the day named Corn Pop. Corn Pop, he caused a lot of trouble at the swimming pool. And that's why I grew up. <laughs> that's not bad. Massive comment. I like how they gave him a nose and eyes. Man, Bernie's still up by 3.4% in Texas. Wow. Uh, massive comment. <clears throat> Hello. I am uh, from outer space. That's where I currently reside, but... Um... <coughs> Yeah, you, you could be out. You could be right, Mr. Scott. Yeah, I could see it. Like, if it's a lot of Austin counties, county early. Mike Bloomberg. Oh, I already did Bloomberg. Pete Buttigieg. Buttigieg is just. Uh... Oh, he follows him a mouse. I didn't even notice that. When I vote for Massive Comet, it depends on their uh, opponent. <laughs> it's kind of sad to say that, but maybe. Uh, Pete Buttigieg. Look, the thing about America is that it's a unique country. And when I served in the military and killed Afghanis for years and years, I knew that. Uh, it's I, I'm not realizing this until now, but it's so true. Buttigieg is just copying Obama's rhetoric style. You know, the... Uh, Tulsi Gabbard. Man, is she, is she's she got kind of a weird style, but it's a little, it's a little stilted, a little halting. It's like... My ideas on foreign policy may be a little startling, but the truth is, of all the candidates on this stage, I'm the only one who's actively serving in the military. Or no, it's more like, I'm the only one who's actively serving in the military. 
It's not a good impression. Oh, what does a Wii encryption sound like? <laughs> like. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What does he sound like? <clears throat> oh, I forgot. Let's read his description again real quick. Born and raised on the Texan plains, William is a heart. Yeah, that's his voice right there. Hi, howdy, folks. I'm William Cripson. And ever since I was a little boy wrestling steers on the Texan plains, I knew that I wanted to help every cowboy and cowgirl out there. And that's why I'm running for president. Because if I can make them more of America, more like Texas, well, that'll just be a pig in a poke, won't it? That's not bad. All right, let's go check out Republicans. Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, boy. Listen. <laughs> it's weird. Like, I could do one-word impressions, but stringing it all together, it's just like... Listen, when I said the coronavirus was a hoax, that was a winch hunt by the media and, quite frankly, the Democrats. <laughs> That's not, it's not very good, but it's not bad either. George W. Bush. My fellow Americans, I'm here today to talk about the nuclear threat of Iraq. And... <laughs> That's not bad. When I was the owner of the Houston Texans baseball team, which I've just realized now is a football team and I'm mistaken, I didn't realize that I would one day be fending my daddy's honor on the battlefields of Baghdad and nuclear rock. Nuclear rock. That's not bad. Oh, giant meteor. I guess he's kind of a party switcher. Hello, it's me again, Giant Meteor, and I'm the best candidate in this field. Some would even say the one most fired up about the election season. <coughs> oh, I gotta squint when I do W. It's just like as my daddy used to say, no more taxes. Read my lips. Did you read them? That was a bit too much George H.W., but... Mike Pence. Ugh. Oh, boy, Mike Pence. Oh, boy. Here we go. Giant Meteor's an independent. That's a good point. Here we go, Mike Pence. I actually watched a press conference on Saturday, one of the coronavirus ones with Trump and Mike Pence, so that's kind of my inspiration for this. My fellow Americans. My fellow Americans, I'd like to begin by offering my deepest condolences to the victims of the coronavirus and a special heartfelt apology on behalf of the Democratic Party for perpetrating this hoax. It's so weird because he's like saying the Trump BS. But he tries to pull it off as like, this is very serious business that I'm stating right now, even though it is patently false and clearly ridiculous. And quite frankly, I'm surprised that we won the election, let alone that I am currently vice president. Thank you. Mitt, Mitt Romney just always has this like slightly nonplussed look on his face where he's like, I, I'm not sure how we got into this situation, but I do wish to be Secretary of State, no matter how much groveling it requires of me uh, in front of President Trump, but I will do it because I want that position very badly, mostly for the uh, notoriety. Not the fame or the money, I already have plenty of that. <laughs> it's got like a little bit of a Reagan on it too. All right, so... Uh this game is very thin. But truth be told, I'm not ready to go to bed yet. So, uh, I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna pull up my Steam library. Let's see what else we got going on in here. Cause I don't want to, I don't want to go to bed yet. I don't want to stop the stream yet. I, I want to take it to at least probably 11.30. Polls are about to close in California in four seconds. 
So let me just pull up my Steam library real quick and see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. Oh, I know what we're playing. I know what we're playing. I said that, but I... I'm starting to second guess myself, but I think it's I think it's right. Yeah, that was kind of fun, but that game was a little little thin. Hi Maggie, good night. Okay. Don't worry folks, I've got a game coming for you. This is just going to be a good nice like relaxation game. If, if, if I can find it. There it is. Hey, we're gonna play some BeamNG. This game's good. This is a great game to just goof off. Uh, but first, real quick, I need to go through and change um, some of this. Some of this info on some of these streams real quick. Man, Texas is still pulling strong in Texas. I cannot believe Biden won Massachusetts. That is a big upset. That's a huge upset. I, I'm definitely predicting Bernie for California. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I see what you're saying. They immediately must be off exit polls. So I think I'm going to stay awake then for, for Texas. Texas could be huge. Because, look, just with California in play now, it's it's they're predicting 236 delegates. It's, it's going to be a brokered convention. That's bonkers. All right, let's do some uh, free roam. But what about eight Ona Raceway? Oh, that's the Daytona. That's right. I forgot about that one. Oh, they got new loading screens in here. I feel like this is very American. Hey, I'm curious um, if you guys have heard that because of the coronavirus, you should stop touching your face because it's an easy way to transmit sickness to yourself. But oh, why am I under? But also that, uh, oh, I immediately took off my side mirror. And, like, it's so difficult to do that. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit here. Here. And for me. Oh, you know what? I think I know where it is. Turn it down. Audio. There we go. Hi, Maggie. Oh, that feels good. Okay, let's see if I can remember what my parking brake is. There it is. Oh no, why am I so zoomed out? Oh, I should try to play this game in VR. Okay, wait. Why am I? Okay, there we go. I should try to play this game in VR. Oh, she was in the hospital with pneumonia? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, but it was just pneumonia, right? Because I think pneumonia is one of the... Uh, uh, one of the... Um, symptoms of coronavirus. Like one of the more serious. Oh yeah, that's that's probably a good idea. If you can handle, if if you can swing that, I think that's a good idea. Self-imposed isolation. Just self-quarantine because she's at risk. Because that's what they say is that it's uh, especially for for elderly and people with underlining conditions. Underlining conditions. Oh no no no. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna switch my car real quick. I 
forgot how to do it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I got so many good cars. I gotta pick an American car. That's an American car. That's an American car. I, I would say definitely do quarantine. I actually had a um, discussion with my boss today about it because um, I am going to, I have a business trip to Dallas next week and got to go through some airports so I may be at risk for coronavirus for that but also uh, the end of March, March 21st we're taking a vacation to London and we can't really cancel it or move it because a lot of the all the hotels, all the train tickets um, and all the flights are booked and non-refundable so we basically have to do it and so he he was like hey if you just be prepared in case you got to quarantine yourself you know work from home etc oh yeah that's good you got those masks yeah they're, they're saying it's kind of weird they're like you need the masks but only if you already have it it's kind of like to prevent you from spreading it versus you from getting it but it's it's good to have it anyways Cars overheating? Already? I'm gonna go to a blow. That was really inappropriate. Oh yeah, my engine is definitely over. Oh, damage the piston rings. I think I may be a little chunky on your guys' end, which is weird. Oh. Oh, yeah, my engine's about to blow. Yeah, that could be... We haven't had it yet in Maryland. I think we've had... I think there's 10 people right now that have active tests out, and we don't know if they've got it or not. So, and we're kind of a very, pretty multicultural state, especially in the center of the state where I live. So we could end up. Oh. Yeah, so we could end up getting it, but you know, my fiance works at a hospital, so let's do some F1 cars. Ow. Hmm. Let's do electronic stability control support. Yeah, I saw that about Washington State, and I think they've had all the deaths so far as well. I like how the audio is like glitching slightly. This is so annoying. Oh no. Hey, let me know if the, if the game audio is stuttery on your side. It looks like it kind of is. Wait. I noticed this last stream, but it's weird because it's, it's like a solid 60 FPS on my computer. That is what it sounds like, yeah. Oh, 
I want to go to a different scenario. Very weird audio. I agree. Free roam. Let's go to grid map. I know what we want to do. We just want to crash. Let's check these results. 0% of the vote and they're calling it. Still calling it. For Sanders, California. Still up in Texas, 3%. Wow. Okay, let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into. You know what? I think I have flown this guy before. Oh, rocket assisted. Pitch up, pitch down, toggle wings. Okay, wait. I need to look up the controls for this guy. Vehicle specific. Numpad 2 and 8 is pitch up, pitch down. Toggle wings, rockets. Okay. switch to the actual like flying one of these Carmageddon yeah okay this one's gonna work get up to speed deploy up to speed and then I switch oh this is gonna hurt oh no <laughs> Ouchie, wouchie. Oh! I think that's it. I just need to, like, build up speed and then hit, hit a hill. I did it. I did it. I'm flying. It's so weird though, because I, I don't really have full control with the with the with the the Xbox One controller I'm using. I'm going so fast. Okay, I think it's time to do what we all want to do. Oh no. Oh, now I'm going too fast. Ugh. That hurt. Whew. Okay, let's see what other cars I've got. A shopping cart.
Oh, I mean, this probably won't. Okay, let's see if I... I'm trying to remember the controls in this game. If you've ever played this game, controls are super wonky. Isn't it? Where's free camera? Shift C. That sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. See, see now I can come over here and I can spawn a new vehicle. I'll spawn this utility truck. Uh oh. Did that work? Where's my shopping cart? Let's see it replace my shopping cart. Okay, all right, so if I do shift C and I come over here and then I do spawn. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let me get, let me get this shopping cart full of melons. Spawn new. There we go. Daddy made it work. all this stuff down here. I'm going to go hit the shopping cart full of, full of, uh, full of melons. Let's do it. Crush the melons. All right, folks. I I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know what you all want. I know. Hey. I know. I know. I know what you want. I know. Here we go. Oh. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, if you slam the parking brake, it just shuts off the engine. What? think that's I think that's just gonna have to be good enough okay okay here we go lifting up come with me truck hey it's coming it's coming with me oh okay all right and I think oh that's the firing mechanism I think this truck's gotta go truck's gotta go Truck won't fit. But let's switch her. Let's switch it with this guy. Place current. Okay, 
let me remove this guy too. Okay. Hey, we're getting there. We're getting there. Manage car. This guy. This guy. Spawn new. <laughs> Here it is, folks. I know y'all been waiting for this. I know it. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that was great. Let's see. Let's leave it here, though, and let's go see if I can put a car even, even further. I gotta lower it all the way down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the heavier car first. It has to be heavy, but it has to fit inside it. So of course we're gonna go with the bus. Let's go with this hero. This is probably not going to fit. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? It's a jet engine on it. <laughs> That's gorgeous. This bus is incredible. Oh, that's what I need right there. <gasps> Flying. <laughs> Sheared off the top half of the bus. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, let me see if I can put it in here. Oh man, it feels like the Texas reports slowed down. Maine is still incredibly close. Okay. Oh, come on. I think that's gonna have to be good enough. It's, it's mostly in there. It's mostly in there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so now I gotta lift her on up. <laughs> Definitely not as far as the other car. So that's the bus. Pretty decently damaged. And this is the other car. <laughs> okay, let's let's see if I can I wanna put one over that wall. Over this little tiny wall here. From the cannon. Okay, let's see. Alright. Let's go. Here. All the way down. Thank you. Okay. Spawn. I need the tiniest, lightest of vehicles. I, I, I think it's definitely the Abishu. Let's just do the, the base model. 
No, we just do that. No, let's do base model. Spawn new. Take it for a test spin. Let's see how she goes. Yeah, feels great. Okay, I can back. I can back her in now. We're stuck. Okay. Oh. Oh, I damaged the fuel tank. There she is. Okay, let's lift her up. Here we go. Oh my god. I don't think it's going to go over the wall, though. Oh, oh! It didn't it didn't quite go as. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow, so close, very close. Wow. All right, let's let's fire off one more thing, and then I'm probably gonna call it for tonight. I don't think those. Te oh, Texas is now down to a 1.3% diff. Okay, let's see. Got to spawn something. Whoa. New vehicle. Something that will fit in there. I wonder if I can put this ball in there. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I got to get back over here. I did not make that track. No, this is, this is kind of like their generic test track. It's pretty cool, though. What's a good car to push that in there? I'm going to go with... The hopper. And I want it to be. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. This is so much harder than Rocket League. No, 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 stop. Stop it. This is better. <gasps> oh, I'm so close. Oh, no. I think I just need to like. Yeah, let it roll. And then gently push it towards it. Bye, Stream Mom. Thanks for joining. having to adjust.
I'm trying to tap it in. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. 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 I deflated my tire. that oh that hurt me so badly when that happened I think part of what's killing me is this camera angle Don't you roll out, ball. I did it. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. I can despawn this vehicle. And then I can lift her up. Okay, here we go. It's like warping the ball texture. Oh, I guess it tore. Wow. That's bonkers. Didn't quite go as far. I think it's like a like a mass type thing. You want some mass to propel it, but not too heavy. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for tonight's stream. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We had a solid two and a half hours of fun here. Uh, so let's just take a last glance at the election results. Outstanding states. Uh, it's it's California, 6.6% in, but they feel confident enough to call it. Maine is now tied at 60%. And Texas, Texas is now down to a 0.5% lead for Sanders. I, I feel like Maine and Texas may end up going to uh, Biden. This is crazy. Crazy night. Crazy good for Biden. Disappointing for Sanders. I, I think it. neither of them are going to get a majority of delegates now. I'm feeling neither of them. So it may end up being a brokered convention. It's going to be crazy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you can find more of our content at subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel. We've got a lot of good stuff on there. Uh, Jake just put up some video... Uh, spotlight video on uh, video game artist. A lot of good stuff there. We've got some new docs coming. We've got a doc we just put out about a couple weeks ago on the uh, Morristown Game Vault, uh, which is a uh, retro arcade inside of a 150-year-old bank, including the vault. It's pretty crazy short doc that we did. It's only seven or eight minutes. Highly recommend watching it. Um, and we're going to be streaming on Thursday. I don't know what we're streaming yet. It's typically we've got Will here with us. Uh, he's been on vacation, so he's going to be back on Thursday. I think I'm going to leave it up to him to determine what we're going to stream. Whatever it is, it'll be 9 p.m. on Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, if you would like more of my content, you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson, and you can find all the Subpixel uh, social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, at Subpixel Team. That's the handle, Subpixel Team. Got a lot of great stuff. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us. I think we've had a great stream, folks. Um, and hey, happy Super Tuesday.